Hey everybody, K Plum Games here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it here to Vermilion City, the home of the third gym, after taking on Misty of the second gym. And in this episode, we will be doing a little sightseeing, probably going to be going and fighting some of the trainers up above that we skipped over last time. And yeah, it should be a pretty eventful episode, and we might actually go to the SSN this time around. So yeah, lots of things on the bucket list to do this time around, and I hope that we get to all of them in a timely manner. I did not get a chance in between episodes to look into Dig, but honestly, I'm just going to teach Dig. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna teach Dig yet. Maybe if I have to cut to heal up, I will take a look at the learn sets of these Pokemon. I am recording this right after the last episode, so I forgot to check out the learn sets of my party. Ah, gosh. I should just teach Dig, but I need to double check to make sure it's the right move because Onyx might get it naturally and then I'm wasting the TM. Gosh. Alright, Diglett, I'm not gonna deal with you. I'm going to let Locke deal with you. Lapras, Locke, you have been my favorite team member that I have gotten the chance to use in this playthrough so far. Oh, you're using Dig. I don't love that. It's okay. It's not gonna kill me, but it is gonna do decent damage considering you're level 21. Oh my god. Why are you level 21? Jesus. <laughs> we defeated the Ghost Rider! Yay! Nice. Alright, let's talk to you. Excuse me, this is a private conversation! Well, why are you having it in the middle of the field, Miss Ma'am? What are you trying to do? Oh, you trying to get the, 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 the cough drops too, like your friend over there, Miss Demonic? Jesus. I can't take you people anywhere. You're just an embarrassment to my kind. Oh, jeez. Lovely kiss. I'll kiss you, drowsy. Just don't sleep my dreams. Or eat my dreams, rather. Gosh, English is a hard language, bro. I can't speak. Oh, you woke up, really? I'll put you back to sleep, bro. What the? What the frick? He woke up the same turn he fell asleep. Dude. No, man. This is illegal. You cannot do this in this country. You cannot wake up. You gotta close them eyes. Get that, get that shut eye. Literally. Oh my gosh. I can't with you, Hypno. And your son Drowsy, whom I captured in the last episode. Nostril is just sitting in the PC like, Oh, you're fighting my dad? Huh? Don't kill him! No, I'll just make him faint some because, bro, it's Pokemon. You can't kill things unless you're my team and it's a Nuzlocke. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, we learned double slab. Epic. Nice. I can slap you doubly as hard. Alright, um... Mr. Snorlax, once again, hi, how you doing? We killed one of you in the last episode. Just, let's just go for Rockrow, and let's miss Rockrow. Come on, Serpentine, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Thank you. He doesn't even do that much damage, oh my god. That's kind of crazy. Oh my god, dude! What the frick? Alright, we're gonna do this then. If you're gonna sleep, this is what it's gonna be. And it might be one of those situations where I speed up the thing. Oop, I don't know. We'll see how long the Snorlax takes to kill. If it tries to press again, I'm gonna be like, oh no, that's not good. In that exact voice, by the way. That's exactly what I will say. I'll be like, oh no, that's not good. Do 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 do. Oh, frick you, Snorlax. Frick you and your stupid sleeping habits. I, I cannot. Russell, it's your time to shine. Just kill the man. I mean, you can't because like it's gonna take a bit, but like you have a good attack stat. So just do your thing. Do your thing. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Kill the man. Kill the man. Kill. Hit, hit, hit him with your watch off. Hit him with your fist. Yeah. Hit him. Oh my God, Snorlax. Why, dude? Stop this madness. Stop it. This is not the time to be taking a nap. You don't need to recharge your goddamn battery, sir. Oh my goodness gracious. Stop it. Please. Please. No, Snorlax. What the frick, dude? Snorlax. Do not relax, Snorlax. Ah. I'm just gonna waste all of my karate shots doing this, wasting your PP trying to get you to use up all your rests. Oh, thank the Jesus for the critical hit. My gosh. Snorlax was not having it on that day. He was like, no, I'm not doing this. I can't. 
I hate losing too, bro. But like, I'm not a sore loser, like in the sense, but like losing Nuzlocke sucks, I guess. But that's not gonna happen. We're gonna win this Nuzlocke. <laughs> Mock my words. It's gonna happen. Yes, who's there? Quit listening in on us. Oh, oh whoa. Your girlfriend tried to murder me with her big ass Snorlax. What you gonna do about it? Oh, you're gonna send out an execute? A dozen of eggs? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I'll cry chop them in the face. Just like I did their mama, the coconut. Yeah, barrage, do it. See if I care. <laughs> Doesn't hit me any. I mean, it did hit me three times, actually. But I prefer not to talk about that. <laughs> ah, putting me to sleep, really, bro? You're you're just you're just being silly, a silly Billy at this point. And I don't like silly Billies. I'll bake you. I'll fry you up, <laughs> and then you won't be even able to fight me, cause I will cook you. I will scramble your ass, and you won't like it. But it is what will occur. And I'm just telling you this because it's the truth, and I don't care what happens to you. You can barrage me all you want. You can do it. Fix it, Felix. <laughs> Goddamn. Alright, bye. Jesus. We defeated the bug catcher. Alright, I am going to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal, and I am going to look up the stuff about Dig before I forget. Alright, I just healed up my Pokemon, and I have made a decision. I did look up Onyx's learn set, and I was correct. He does not learn any ground-type moves naturally, so Dig is a good thing to put on Serpentine. Serpentine is trying to learn Dig, but he cannot learn more than four moves. Delete a move. We're gonna forget... Screech. We don't need Screech. It's honestly not very important for us to have Screech. I like the fact that we have Dig on Serpentine now. It's gonna make him a lot more useful, and yeah, I, I think I made the best decision. We're actually gonna try and make Onyx work, which is something I've never done in a Nuzlocke before. Would I prefer to have a Steelix? Yeah, but those didn't exist yet, unfortunately, so... We gotta work with what we get, and we can't be too upset. There aren't many bugs out here. <laughs> yeah, you don't say. I just saw a friggin' pile of eggs. And a friggin'... What else did we fight? A Snorlax. Those don't look like bugs to me. Oh, we're fighting a Pikachu, and guess what? We dug a hole. <laughs> Pikachu, you're dead. So dead. You licky bicky. You silly billy bitch person i'm gonna dig i'm gonna do it again because it's 100 power in this game oh you're gonna bite me it did two damage because it's normal type in this game oh ho, ho, ho. oh that didn't kill it's fine though yeah payday put some money on the ground i'll pick it up yes do it oh my god why did bind miss Come on, Serpentine! Get your act together, girl, girl, get your act together! Do it! Ah! Ha ha ha! Tentacruel! I'm not gonna mess with you because you have water type moves! Okay. Uh, can't get too overzealous. No, no, no. Tentacruels are evil spawns of hell. We have fought one in literally every episode, I think. Since like episode three or two, why why are they so common? We fight them literally every episode, and they're so annoying every single time. Like, dude, get out of my grill. I don't I don't appreciate you and your whole entire existence, really. Oh my god, you're just getting me in a kill range, aren't you? Well, I killed you first. Haha. <laughs> Bye. See you later, alligator. And we defeated the ghost ride dog. Got some money! Some free money too, because friggin' bro made his cat piss some money. Miss Fing just literally urinated all of the gold. It was kind of disgusting, and I fear for her urinary tract. 
I, I think she should go see the vet. Because, A, that's pretty freaking cool that you can piss money. And B, I'm concerned for your well-being. <laughs> Damn. That got dark. Alright, well, we defeated those trainers, which means we have free reign to explore the city now. Alright, let's talk to you. My Pokemon was poisoned and fainted while we were walking! Oh, damn, bro. Well, you should have brought an antidote. It is true that the higher level Pokemon will be more powerful, but all Pokemon will have weak points against specific types, so there is no universally strong Pokemon. Huh. Tell that to Psychic types in Gen 1. Even if they are the same level, Pokemon can have very different abilities! A Pokemon raised by a trainer is stronger than one in the wild. Alright, I'll take your word for it, buddy. Let's come here. You give us a fishing rod, right? I'm the fishing guru! I simply love fishing! Do you like to fish? Grand, I like your style! Take my rod, young one! Oh god, bro. Don't word it like that. Fishing is a way of life from the seas to rivers. Go out and land the big one, young one! We can fish, which means we can also catch a Pokemon here. Because the city is a separate area, so let's catch something. Why the frick not? Old Rod! Come on! Ooh! Oh, it's a bite! What do we get? What's our encounter for this area? That's the dupes clause! We can't use that! We already have one! But thanks, I guess, for trying. Just gonna... I hope this kills. Wow, Pikachu, you're bad! That didn't kill? Oh my god, dude. Ha! Huh. Well, we're gonna have to try this again anyways, because that is the dupes clause, and we cannot use duplicates, as we went over two episodes ago. Oh my god, we were so close to level 24 that we just needed to fight one level 5 executor. That's kind of funny, actually. Come on, give me something different. Please. Please. And thank you. Please give me something new. No! Whoa. Please give me something new. Wait, this is literally the Magikarp equivalent, is it not? Oh, crap. Because, yeah, Magikarp... The one we got for the gift Pokemon literally randomized the Executor. Okay, I am going to try a few more times... And I will cut to a successful attempt, and hopefully we get one. Alright, so unfortunately, I gave the fishing a good few minutes, and I pulled up nothing but executors. These fucking underwater palm trees, sorry for swearing, but Jesus Christ, I cannot get an encounter in the city right now. Because we can only get the goddamn executors. Ah! Do you see SSN moored in the harbor? <laughs> Not yet. I'm going there. Be patient, old man. We're careful about pollution. We've a grimer multiplies in toxic sludge. Huh. Yeah, actually it does. I, I can't even make fun of you. That's the truth. I'm putting up a building on this land. My Pokemon's damn through the land. I'm, I'm sure he is. Good for him. Um, yeah, so no Pokemon encounter for us this time around, not in this area at least. But we have some other areas that we can go to potentially. Hey, do you have Pinza? You want to trade it for Golem? I don't have Pinza. But I'll keep it in mind, I guess, little girl. This is the Pokemon fan club, right? Pokemon fan club! Yeah, let's go. Why the frick not? Look at that seal just sitting there. Cuo! <laughs> I just love my seal! It's cool when I hug it! It's probably telling you to stop. It's like, stop suffocating me! Chew! Pikachu! I have one of those too! Huh, my Pikachu is twice as cute as that one. <gasps> oh no, you did not! You just started a war, sir! You do not come for Chulip like that! Ah, na 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 na! I will pull out my onyx and I will dig and I will murder your Pikachu. Do not come for me. Our chairman is very vocal about Pokemans. Is he now? Is he gonna tell me about his Rapidash <laughs> that he loves so much? I'm chair of the Pokemon fan club. I have collected over a hundred of them. I'm very fussy when it comes to the mans. 
So, did you come visit to hear about my Pokemans? Good, then listen! My favorite is Rapidash! It cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing! You think so? Oh, yes! It's stunning! Kindly love it! Hug it when sleeping warm and cuddly! Spectacular, ravishing, oops, look at the time! I kept you too long! Thanks for hearing me out! I want you to have this! This man likes Rapidash a little bit too much for my liking. I don't need a bike! Bye, bitch! Go cycle to your heart's content! I don't need no bike! I'm a strong, independent man who don't need no bike! I just need a fire horse in my life! Mmm, chicken. <laughs> Kurukuku! That's a Pidgey. I'm going my Pidgey to fly and learn the saffron in the north. Oh my god, a carrier Pidgey! <laughs> That's so cute. I didn't even know that was a thing. But you learn something new every day, folks. So we do have Diglett's Cave and we do have this route here. Both of which are areas in which we can catch Pokemon. I might consider doing that. But... I want to see something because... Actually, if I go in here it's probably gonna... Mm, I don't know. I think if I go in here it's gonna make me go to the ship. SSN is a famous luxury cruise ship. We visit Vermilion once a year. Oh nice. Welcome to SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Great, welcome to SSN. Oh. Uh, so this counts as the SSN. And I think in Fire Red Leaf Green you can get encounters here. But I don't know if that's the case in this generation. You might not be able- Oh, you can get encounters here! Is it anything different? No, just executors. Okay. Cool, I guess. I'm gonna give it one more try. One more, maybe two more college tries. We'll keep these ones in. And let me tell you about the Mew truck, which is in this map that you can't really see right now, because uh, it's off screen. But to the right of us, off screen, out of boundary, is the truck where supposedly you can catch Mew. I mean, like, that's the hoax. Like, it's not actually a thing, but it's one of the most popular hoaxes in all of Pokemon. And, um, it stems from this room right here, which is kind of funny. If you've ever heard the Mew under the truck, it's referring to this. Now you know. Executor, please don't be one. Uh, cool. Love that for me. All right. Well, we're not actually going to be going on the cruise ship right away. I think I want to do my encounters first. Just so that I have some things to do. I want to have my encounters. We have enough Pokeballs, right? Yeah, we're good. I am going to heal up though, because we are two health from the maximum and I am a paranoid Petunia. I do not want my Pikachu to die. Two HP, man. It can make the difference. From my time playing Nuzlocke throughout the years, sometimes you survive with one or two HP. It can make the difference. So never underestimate the power of healing at a Pokemon Center, even if it seems super negligible and like very minuscule of a difference. It's worth it, trust me. Actually, you know what? Did we go in this house before? I don't remember if we did. I think we did, actually, yeah. This is the Pidgey house. I just want to make sure, Jesus, don't, don't, don't hurt me. My, my gosh. What can we get? Hopefully it's something fun. Spunky. Give me a nice Pokemon. I will take whatever you can give me. Because it's better than nothing, which is what we got from the water. Because freaking Executor was polluting the earth. Come on. Oh my gosh, that took a hot damn second. Oh, that's Dupes Claws. We cannot use a Mankey because we have a Primeape. Sorry about it. That is Dupes Claws. I feel like since this is Gen 1, we are going to be getting a lot of Dupes Claws Pokemon because of um, all of the all of the lack thereof, rather, of options. 
Oh, it's a Meowth. Cute. I mean, like, it's a cute Pokemon. I'm not gonna use it because... Well, I mean, Persian is actually pretty good in this game. It gets uh, subsequently weakened in pretty much every Pokemon game. But Persian in this game is pretty good. I'm just not going to use one, I don't think. I mean, obviously it will be in the PC, so there's a chance I'll use it, but I wouldn't put a lot of stock into Persian being a Pokemon on my team. But, please catch. Nice! Thank you, Meowth, for feeding my mouth. I mean, what? Oh, gross. <laughs> Scratch Cat Pokemon! A door circular object wanders the streets on a nightly basis to look for dropped loose change. I'm going to name you after the Pokemon mentor, the evil team leader that we will maybe, I'm not going to spoil it, maybe we'll come across later. Giovanni, leader of Team Rocket, might be a future opponent, who knows? But I'm gonna name Meowth after Giovanni's Persian in the anime. I, I barely watched the anime, but I do know that lore, believe you me. Alright. And I believe we're gonna go into the Diglett's cave now and see what we can catch. Because we should be able to get an encounter there as well. Oh my gosh, so many encounters. It's quite exciting to be honest. And after we do the encounter, there's two things we can really do. We can train up on the route that we just caught the Meowth in, or we can go to the cruise ship. Both of them I want to get done before the gym. I think no matter which one I start, I'm not going to be able to finish it in this episode given the time, but I can try my best to make a head start. What a surprise! Daylight's dunk this long tunnel! It goes right to Verenia City! I'm sure it does. Oh! Encounter straight away. What is it? Oh! Tangela, the original pure grass type. Tangela is an interesting Pokemon to say the least. It's not bad per se. It's not the best Pokemon in Gen 1. I think Tangrowth really helped it. It's kind of an interesting Pokemon because I tend to forget that it exists. I mean, no shade to it, no like hatred to it, but I kind of just forget that it's actually a Pokemon, so take that for what it's worth. And I do want to weaken it a little bit more. Let's lick it. Taste my saliva, seaweed! Oh my god, that did like no damage. Jesus. Pound, will that do more? A little bit, I guess. <laughs> also, this dude is level 21. The Diglett's Cave encounters are a little bit more aggressive than uh, previous encounters have been. So just keep that in mind. Bind, no way. Constrict, how dare. How dare you. Okay. We don't really need to do too much more in the way of damage. I think we can catch it at this point, right? You would think. Let's just try. Let's throw a Pokeball and see what happens. No! Oh, how dare. How dare you. Pokeball! Please? Please! No! Don't be rude. Don't be rude off the red nosed reindeer. Don't do it. I just want to catch you. You're not even that good of a Pokemon. You're not worth the trouble. Trust me on that. <laughs> Probably never going to use this thing. Let's go into Bulbas. Bobus. Yeah, I honestly I don't know that Tangle is ever gonna be used, to be honest, because I have a Vile Plume as well. So unless everyone dies. Uh I hope it doesn't come to that though. 
Come on! Tangle up, please! Dude! You should not be this hard to catch. You should not be giving me trouble like a friggin' starter would. You're nobody! Come on! Thank you! See, Squirtle from the last episode liked me to talk sweet to it. Tangela likes degradation. Oh. I don't like the implications of that. The fucking seaweed monster likes degradation? Damn, this went somewhere. Oh, Tangela is the vine Pokemon. The whole body is swathed with wide vines that are similar to seaweed. Its vines shake as it walks. So you're saying it has a lot of limbs, a lot of tentacles, if you will. Oh, I'm not making it better. Um, what am I gonna name this thing? I've never used a Tangela before, so I've never, I've never really caught a Tangela before. So what do, what, what do name? Um, um. I don't know. I'm just gonna call it this because it's where my mind went, and it is a name, and it's kind of vulgar, but I don't care. Tentacle. Whenever I look at you, I just think of tentacles. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't even. Well, that. Tentacruel, not tentacruel. Oh my god! These friggin'. <laughs> Everything's converging to one! My brain's going kablooey and kapoofy and kashoofy and mamoofy and namoofy. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Um, I did think we would have enough time to make a head start on the other things that I want to do this time around, but it looks like we are running out of time for this episode and. I'm content with that. We'll just save the cruise ship for next time. So, with all that said, this has been the episode of Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. And next time we'll go to the SSN and actually make story progress! Yay! It's not just gonna be kadoofing around doing nothing. If you enjoyed this video at all, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing as it would greatly help out the channel. And with all that said, I will see you all in the next one. Bye now.